welcome to the True Crime Never Sleeps podcast. I'm your host, Larry Lace, and on today's episode, we dive into the horrific torture and murder of Kelly and Bates. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Poddex, for sponsoring this episode. If you're a podcaster looking to grow your audience and get more engagement, you're going to want to check out Poddex today. Go to poddex.com and use the promo code on Larry21 for 10% off your order. And as always, you can be a part of the show by sending us a voicemail at 682-305-0483. Give us your thoughts on the cases we've covered. Uh, let us know of a case that we shouldn't be covering. Or give us any comments or criticisms you have of our show. And you can be a featured on a future episode. And now on to today's topic. Kellyanne, Margaret Bates' 16-year-old daughter, was standing in the kitchen. When she got home at, um, home one day from work in Hattersley, England, Kellyanne had brought her boyfriend home for the first time, James Patterson Smith. When Margaret learned that Smith was in his mid-40s, she was astounded. No mother would be pleased to find that their daughter was dating someone who was so much older than she was. Margaret, though, experienced more than that. There was a very unsettling quality to Smith. I didn't want this man to be dating my daughter. I clearly remember wanting to take our bread knife and stab him in the back when I saw it in the kitchen, she recalled in a later interview. Margaret would subsequently come to regret her decision not to stab Smith there and then. As her daughter's relationship with James Patterson Smith would soon come to an end after he cruelly tormented and murdered her. Kellyanne Bates was only 14 when the couple first met and up until that fatal moment in the kitchen, they had mainly kept the relationship a secret from her mother. Shortly after the encounter in the kitchen in November 1995, Kellyanne moved in with the jobless Smith in neighboring Gordon. Her parents were hesitant about the choice, but they accepted it as long as she maintained a constant line of communication. But their formerly vivacious daughter became more withdrawn over the following few months. Her parents also observed marks on her arms when she paid them brief visits. In the past, James Patterson Smith frequently mistreated the ladies he shared a home with. His first marriage broke up due to allegations of physical abuse, and similar tales were shared by other women Smith had dated. One time, he even attempted to drown his lover, who was only 15 years old. Kellyanne Bates had the same treatment from Smith, who beat her frequently. However, the harassment reached a horrifying new level after a few months. The full degree of the assault was first revealed on April 16, 1996, when Smith entered the Gordon Police Station and claimed that Kellyanne Bates had drowned while she was in the bath. How he exactly he framed this as an accident to police is still unclear. Kellyanne's injuries, however, revealed a much darker tale when Kellyanne's body was later discovered inside Smith's residence. The pathologist who examined the deceased discovered more than 150 wounds that had been sustained over a minimum of one month. Bates was starved by Smith in the weeks before she passed away. And he even had her tethered to a radiator by her hair. She had been stabbed numerous times in the legs, torso, and mouth, in addition to being strangled and burned with a hot iron. Smith had also mutilated her by using various implements, such as pruning shears, at least five days passed before he ultimately killed her by drowning her in the bathtub. He had even gouged out her eyes. During the trial for the case, the prosecutors detailed the torture Bates had gone through for the jurors. According to one prosecutor, the physical pain would have been severe, causing suffering and torment to the point of mental breakdown and collapse. Other victims of Smith's abuse testified at the trial to build a picture of a sexist man who was irrationally jealous and used violence to exert control over others. Smith countered that he was the true victim. He stated that Bates' taunts caused him to kill her. He muttered, quote, she put me through hell, twisting me up. He even claimed that she caused some of her wounds on herself in an effort to harm his reputation. The jury didn't believe him and soon declared James Patterson Smith guilty of killing Kellyanne Bates. He was given a minimum term of 20 years in jail on November 19th, 1997, and is still serving that sentence today. Margaret Bates, on the other hand, 
He's still reminded of the time she first met Smith in the kitchen. She admitted that having the urge to kill him there and then was bizarre. Saying, quote, I would never ordinarily think of anything that violent, and now I wonder whether it was some sort of sixth sense. Let us know your thoughts on this case in the comments section below. As always, give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Subscribe to the channel and support the show. And buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Larry21. Or excuse me, it's buymeacoffee.com slash TCNS. Your support helps the channel grow, upgrade our equipment, bring in new hosts, be able to pay them, and hopefully one day take this show on the road. As always, thank you so much for watching and listening. We will see you next time.